Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one-up tutorial, we're trying to see how to work with a very nice package called Bandit. So, what is Bandit? So, Bandit is a very nice source code execute analyzer. And it's very useful when you're trying to refactor your code and when you're trying to check and see whether there is vulnerabilities in your Python code. So, let's see how to work with it. So, first of all, let's install it. It's going to be pip install Bandit, right? Perfect. So that is how to install it. I've already installed it just straight away. And it's going to install it on your, on your system and you can run it like a CLI. So let's see how to run it. It's going to be banded. That does help. And it's going to give us all the various options that we can run this particular script, right? This particular package. So these are all the various vulnerabilities that you can be able to identify. Very interesting. And then how do you work with it? So this is going to be the particular file, then band it, right? In a particular argument or option. So let's see an example. So I have this particular simple script here. It's an app.py, very simple file. So if I run this on Python 2.7, then app.py. Perfect, so what, what is your name? So let's give it as Jesse. Then name is not defined, right? The reason is giving us this particular option that this is Python 2.7, I'm supposed to use raw input, right? So this code may seem harmless, but I can, when I scan it with bandage, it's able to identify the particular vulnerability, particular security issue with this particular script so let's see how to do that it's going to be bandit then the name of the file perfect so it's bandit has finished analyzing it then give us that there is no test and then it excluded test none then it's going to give us an issue so the issue is giving us is a backlist issue of b322 right so the issue is that the input method in python 2 will read from standard input evaluate and run the resulting string as python source code that means that anytime i put in something here it's going to run the python source code so this is the issue that's given to us then giving us some metrics so the, the, the number of code scans were four we have four four one two three four and then it's the metrics that give to us by by severity and then by confidence so by severity we have very high severity of 1.0 and by confidence also very high that means that this is very very vulnerable so let's see how vulnerable this one is so i'm going to run the same script i had and i'm going to exploit it so import then from here let's run something let's write something simple so sub process and here i'm just going to go straight away with the call so if i run ls here there's a normal terminal option it's going to list all the things there for us so if you have a script like that on your web server you can get a lot of things so with this the same thing that i run i can run it in this particular script again let's do something more dangerous so i can also do the same thing so import and you can, can also use os instead of sub process so os the system then here i can just put in cut then etc then password so with this option, I can be able to get all the passwords on this particular system, right? So I run it very fast and I'll it. The you see that these are all the passwords on this particular system. Very interesting. So that means that if you have this particular code with this option, you can exploit it very well. Okay, perfect. Now let's see how to fix this particular stuff. So the option of fixing is to put raw input, right? This is for Python 2.7. So with raw input, now if I run this particular option again, and I put Jesse, there's no error. Now, if I run it to the bandit, you see that it doesn't able to identify any issue because it has been fixed. So that is how to use bandit to be able to scan your Python code, find vulnerabilities, and then refactor it, right? Perfect. So that's how to work with it. Let's try another application. So this is a simple flash app. And then you see that it's a very nice, simple app. So if I run this particular app here, so let's exit it. So exit, right, now let's run it again. So Python, web app. So the address is going to use. So we're going to be Python, web app. Perfect, right, so this is a particular app. So I copy this one here, and I paste it here. It's already running, very interesting, right? So that is the app that is writing, hello world, which is referring to this particular class that we had, the hello world. So this may seem harmless, right? When you are developing, but when you are deploying, you should never do that. So let's see how to use Bandit to scan this particular web application for vulnerabilities. So let's try it and see. So it's going to be Bandit, then the web application, right? The particular file. 
the Facebook ban it has analyzed a particular form, it was able to identify an issue. So the issue is that serving a flux debug is set to true, which is not supposed to be true. So in development mode, you can set it to debug as true, but when you finish development and you are deploying it, you should always remember to set it as false, right? But that's why it is given this particular issue. Then if you check for the metrics, by severity, it is very high, by confidence, it's medium, right? That is how to work with it. So how do you fix it? So I can fix it by just setting this one as false. There are several ways, right? False or taking off this debug and put your lookout with there. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, so that now there is no issue. So if you check for the severity, there is nothing. If you check for the confidence, there is nothing. So now it has been fixed. That's how to work with Barnet. So that's not the only option. The other option you can also work with is that you can also run it like this by specifying the interval and by severity, so L, the number of severity you want to check. So high, medium, low, right? The different way. And then the same thing for the interval. So I, so high, medium, low, right? Three of them. Perfect. So if I run it, it's going to give us same result that to give to us previously because there's no issue with it perfect right perfect but if i check for the other one that we had which was the one here for the first app that we had without refactoring it it's going to show us the same result that we had right so let's change this one save and let's run it okay so that's giving us the same thing because this is three high medium low high medium low for the severity and for the confidence so it's it was able to give us a result so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section below and please check the comment section below and check the links below for some interesting books to help you with python thank you and stay blessed